Now, winter is a time to amp up the fragrance that you wear, not to mention it's a lovely treat for yourself this season. Potent Parfum is making a comeback, and it's warm and spicy. Trudy is here with all you need to know when you're choosing your perfect winter scent. Morning, Trudy. Hi, how are we? Really, really well. First Good. up, I just have to make a, a note about the bottles that you brought in. They feel like a real throwback. Yeah, and the intensity is a throwback too because Parfum or Perfume is really on trend. Really? So a more intense fragrance than we've had in the last few years. Okay, so that's something that's new. What else is new with winter fragrance? Um, I'm really excited because Shipra fragrances are back. So what, and so what a now? Shipra. So a Shipra is a fragrance with a top note of citrus and then a woody sort of heart and lingering note. So wood, oak, moss, ambergris, those types of old classic sort of fragrance ingredients. Um, quite unisex. Often um, those ingredients are found in men's fragrances. And also a spicy floral oriental, which New Zealand women love and that's a vanilla based fragrance so put that into an intense formulation mm. and you've got a really potent perfume that Ooh. lasts for a long time on your skin so, so it's that's a good deal that's, what that's we a like. good deal and really good in winter because we tend to wear more clothes so for the fragrance to get out you know and around yeah. us it's nice to be something that's a bit stronger or a bit more of a kick so it's sort of the woody spicy thing what else is on trend sort of well i think I'm seeing a lot more ingredients that we haven't seen for a long time, like lavender and ambergris. Um, like I said, the Shipra is a huge in that oak moss, cedar wood, alpine notes, which are very unisex. You know, it could be men or, or women's fragrance, mm. but that just speaks to the whole diversity of the way we are now. You know, it's not single sets anymore. It's open to anybody. And I think fragrance um, brands are listening to that, really. Yeah, they really are. So what's the difference then between an eau de parfum and a... Perfume versus a cologne. I know it can be a bit confusing mm. for people. Um, price is a difference, I know that. The price is different, yeah. of course, but it's the concentration of the oil. So fragrance is made with two things, two main ingredients, oil and alcohol. Mm -hmm. And of course there are other ingredients like preservatives and UV filters and stabilizers, but the oil and the alcohol come together to make the fragrance. Now, the higher amount of alcohol in it and the least amount of oil is your eau de toilette and eau de cologne and colognes. Right. And then the most oil, or the most concentrated level of oil is found in the eau de parfum, the parfum, and the concentrate. Because right. often you'll see fragrance concentrate or fragrance intense. Which is why they are generally more expensive. They are a little bit more expensive and they don't last as long. So that makes no sense to me because I would have thought they would have lasted longer. No, and it's not the fragrance that goes off, it's the ingredients. So the, the oil, if it's exposed to too much heat or too much light, it oxidises. So those colognes that have got a high alcohol level last longer than the more intense fragrances. So why would you buy a, a Eau de Parfum then over an Eau de Toilette? Well, I think because it lasts longer on your skin. Right, you know, so the not oil. longer in the bottle, but longer on your skin. That's right, it lasts okay. longer on your skin. Um, and you get a much more potent result from just one spritz mm. than you would from a cologne. I mean, you can splash a cologne on, and it's still gone within an hour, but some of these fragrances will last 12 hours on your skin. Right, so you're making quite a big investment when you buy yourself a beautiful fragrance. How long should you expect it to last? Well, it depends where you put it, obviously. Um, I mean, people often just spritz it on their chest, which is probably the worst place to put it, especially okay. with UV light, because <laughs> you can get pigmentation from that. But um, pulse points, like behind the ears, um, the wrist, back of the knees is a good one. Um, and your hair, I mean, your hair is almost like a walking diffuser, because every time you move, if you've got it in your hair, it actually... Reinv reinvigorates the fragrance and okay. it sort of surrounds you rather than is on you. Um, so it depends on how long you put it on, but most intense or parfum fragrances would last between six and 12 hours on your skin. Okay, and I bought it, it's in the bottle at home, how long is it gonna last there? Okay, manufacturers would say three years, but it depends how you look after it. And most people think it's cute to line up their fragrance on their windowsill, but fragrance hates heat and it hates light. So you treat a good fragrance like a fine wine and it should be stored between 10 and 15 degrees, like a good wine. Jesus. So in the box and in your drawer. Now, a lot of women say to me, oh, it's okay, I keep my fragrance in the fridge, but you're constantly opening the fridge so it's exposed to light. So if you wanna do that, you've gotta wrap it in aluminium foil if you wanna keep it in your fridge. In the summer, I keep my fragrance in the freezer, like my vodka, because the oil and alcohol don't freeze, and it keeps it nice and cold, and it's beautifully refreshing so, in summer. So that's a great tip, but my problem would be is I would forget to put it on, because it's sort of the last thing I put on as I walk out the door, and I would totally forget it if it wasn't right there sitting, not on the window sill. But it depends out. how many you've got, though. See, a lot of women have a collection of fragrances, more than one, and... 
I guess if you really are hung up on wanting it to last a long time, those are the tips. But just keep them in your drawer in the box, you know, in your lingerie drawer or something, because then you remember when you get dressed. Just throwing all the boxes away, but thanks for that, Trudy. <laughs> I could have gone with that advice a little while ago. So what's your best fragrance tip then? Okay, um, it happened to me the other day, actually, and it reminded me, your nose gets very used to your signature fragrance. Mm. And if you're wearing one of these intense perfumes, you don't need much. If you absolutely overdose on perfume, it can really affect how people feel about you. <laughs> and you don't want to give people a migraine when you walk into the room. No, and it's really awful in a restaurant too. If you're sitting next to someone that's got so much perfume on, it really mm. affects what you eat and drink. So I think less is more with these more okay. intense perfumes. You don't need to splash it on like a cologne. Okay, good to know. So I think we should start talking about these fabulous products. That okay, you so for us today. Ellie Saab Essential. This is beautiful. I mean, it's so gorgeous. I'll just quickly tell you what's in it because that'll tempt people. Okay. So that one is a floral chypra. So it's the floral with the mandarin, orange blossom and gardenia, but the chypra with the cedar wood and patchouli. And it's gorgeous. Well, that's yummy. And I'll that's made it to my collection. And I tell be. you what, I'm really picky. That's lovely. But if you took, if you took that out in your handbag, it's eh, a it would weigh a heap and you <laughs> cook something of that. And, you know, yeah. Um, and also, um, designer scents aren't going anywhere. So Chloe has got a new Nomad. And if you can't buy the Chloe Drew bag this season, you can buy the fragrance. How beautiful are the bottles? I know. They're a work of art. It's a bottle off in beauty counters. you know. The, because the thing is that they really stand out if it's a beautiful bottle. So Chloe... Usually Chloe has always done a rose-based fragrance, but the Nomad is a fruity chypra. So this one has got a herb in it called Davinia, which smells a bit like tea um, and dried fruit. So it's lovely for winter. Oak moss and plum. The next one is Rochas. Your mother probably would have worn Rochas. that. Byzance. Mm. This is the new interpretation on that classic. Oh. A floral oriental, like I was talking to you mm. about before. So the base is vanilla and musk. It's very heady and gorgeous. The bottle's a work of art. Rose, freesia, um, pear and citrus. That takes me right back somewhere. I can't tell you exactly where, but no, it's definitely a memory for me. I've worn that. I mean, it was a very, very popular fragrance back in, you know, the I 70s. I remember the ad, Bizarre. Yeah, it was very sexy, yes. actually, for, for that time. Um, Burberry, <laughs> another beautiful um, designer fragrance. Burberry have a new intense version of her, which is already a fragrance that's available. This is a Garamond. Now, a Garamond fragrance is, contains edible notes. So really delicious smelling fragrance. This one's got tart blackberry, cherry, okay. jasmine, okay. violet, and that lovely base of cedar wood. So it will last a long time. But you can smell the cherry and the blackberry yeah, that in there. It feels, it smells a bit sweeter. Yeah, yeah. So mm, Garamond yeah. is something delicious. It's quite mouth-watering. Um, this is a biggie. Um, Hugo Boss are really putting a lot of energy behind this one. It's called Alive, and I actually really like it. This is a fruity, woody fragrance. So, first up you get the um, apple and blackcurrant and the plum, cinnamon and vanilla. So that combination is quite unusual. Mm, I yeah. haven't smelled anything quite like this for a while. Good to eat together, but... Jasmine and thyme, like I was saying, these greener ingredients that we haven't seen for a long time are coming back. And then there's lots of woods in it, like cedar wood and sandalwood and an olive wood. So that is a newbie. It's just hit counters now. Yeah, nice. And... Last but not least is um, Pakarabans Olympia. And this one is um, Olympia Onyx, and it's a collectible. So it's only a one shot. It's not here for a long time. Wow. Isn't the bottle gorgeous? The bottle is an so absolute throwback to the 80s, it now, feels like. Now, this is a really heady fragrance. Um, a floral oriental as well. So it's got the green mandarin, aquatic notes of water jasmine, ginger lily, salted vanilla. Ooh, yeah, which is quite nice. And then the lovely woody notes at the bottom, which is the sandalwood and the cashmere. Imagine all and those the lined up along So the... imagine all those lined up. Wouldn't that look Excellent. good? Hey, Trudy, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Actually, no, imagine them all lined up in the drawer in their boxes. In their boxes. <laughs> now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.